Hey, what's up guys? Greg, the Frozen Food Master here with another Ask FFM episode. I know it's been a couple weeks. Actually, it's probably been like a month since I've done an Ask FFM episode and I I, I implored you. Implored? Implored? I asked. I begged. I, 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 I asked very nicely a couple episodes ago. Can you please leave me voicemails on the Freezer Burns hotline? I'm going to link it all the way down here throughout this entire video um, so that I can answer some questions and do more episodes. Well, guess what? I got a ton more episodes. Look, in frame, what I'm holding in my hand. I got a ton more um, questions on the Freezer Burns hotline. Thank you so much. I'm going to answer some for you. But first, I want to just say that today I am drinking Bullet Bourbon Frontier Whiskey, 10-year-old. Uh, which is quickly becoming like my favorite bourbon. Oh, mm, 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 mm. it's been one of those days, it's been one of those weeks. Uh, so I'm going to uh, be imbibing this throughout this episode. Bullet bourbon. Do you guys like bullet bourbon? For those of you who are old enough to drink, uh, leave that in the comment section. Okay, uh, caller number one had this to ask me. Hey Greg, this is Mia. I just wanted to ask if you could do a review on like different flavored cream cheese. Like maybe you could do one on plain and then maybe chive and garden vegetable and strawberry and honey nut and just do a review of all different kinds of flavors of cream cheese and say which one is your favorite. All right. Thanks. Bye. Okay, Mia, thank you so much for that question. The short answer is, while I love cream cheese, cream cheese does not love me. Or maybe cream cheese loves me, but I don't love cream cheese. Being lactose intolerant, cream cheese is really, really tough for me. But I will tell you, in the off chances that I do have cream cheese, so a so short answer is, I'm not going to do a throw down of cream cheese versus cream cheese. That will just absolutely destroy me. Uh, but... Um, the long answer is that I, I do like cream cheese and out of those flavored cream cheeses, my absolute favorite is strawberry cream cheese. Some of them weird me out, some of the other uh, flavors, but I love strawberry and I also love um, the uh, honey walnut. Those are my two favorite cream cheeses, especially on the Philadelphia cream cheese line. And let's face it, in the grocery store, there is nothing there's nothing else like Philadelphia cream cheese. Thanks for that question. Okay, caller number two had this question. Hey, Greg, this is Ethan from Bangla, Wales. Um, I'm asking, what's your favorite takeout, like Chinese, Italian, Mexican? Okay, this is a tricky, tricky question. Favorite takeout, because I love all sorts of food. There's really no food that I dislike. Um, but... When it comes to takeout, very few foods do I actually take out. Um, I prefer to actually eat at the restaurant. Here's why. Wh whether it's uh, me at work um, during uh, lunchtime or whether it's me grabbing food uh, with my family after hours or on the weekends, I prefer to, um, to uh, eat in the restaurant for a number of reasons. One is I like to be served. <laughs> That's just the way it is. And two, I, I rather it's someone else. Um, takes away my trash. Um, like I don't want to like like when you do takeout, then you got the like the stinky containers like in your trash can, and then it's like it's just a stinky mess. And number three, I just love to eat out. That's just like I I love that. I love hearing different music and and sitting and being relaxed and all that stuff. But if I do take out, um, it's it's always pizza. Um, you know, I, I mentioned this in a previous video about family pizza night because we have this every Friday, so um, tonight will be family pizza night, and, that, and we always take out because it's kind of our like tradition where uh, I pick up pizza on the way home, we then eat it while watching a movie, and then we, you know, that's just like what we do on Friday nights. So I would have to say pizza, but I've done takeout from all sorts of crazy things, especially when I was in college and right after I graduated college, I, I did takeout from like everything, but if I had to put my finger on something right now, it would be pizza. Okay, caller number three had this question. Hi, Greg. This is Susan. I'm calling from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm a regular viewer of yours, and I was wondering, I know you've said it on a, on a show before, but I was wondering, what is your um, profession? What do you do for a living? Because you always talk about you're going to work, but I don't know what is that. What do you do? 
Okay, so I've done a ton, hundreds of videos, and it's amazing to me how this is the first time after like 600 videos that someone has actually legitimately asked me this question. And the answer, and I've kind of like hinted at it different things, but um, so my profession is I'm actually a CMO, a chief marketing officer of a digital marketing agency uh, here in Raleigh. And uh, so I do marketing. Um, and uh, I do sales, um, but I started as a designer. I went to school, uh, to Rhode Island School of Design, uh, was a graphic design major, and then I was a designer, and then I was an art director and an ad agency, and then I was a creative director, and I did um, all sorts of things, including TV commercials and all sorts of stuff. And then I moved down from Boston to Raleigh, and um, that's what I do. So I'm, I'm a CMO, and uh, I'm also a designer, so hopefully that answers your question. That's why sometimes I'm dressed up, sometimes I'm not. That's why I'm always traveling. I'm going to Chicago next week uh, for a conference, uh, but I love my job and uh, that's it. I don't want to get all mushy on you, but I, I, I think if I were to, to let anyone out there who's watching this video know the most important thing, it doesn't matter what your job title is or how much money you make, the most important thing is that you love your job. And, uh, and fortunately for me, I love my job. Okay, uh, question number four had this question. Hey man, I've been watching the show for a couple months now and I really enjoy it. Thank you so much for making it. And uh, I've always just wondered where you got the name from Freezer Burns. I mean, it, it's probably really obvious, but I just want to hear your take on it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. So this is an interesting question as well because, like I said, I've done so many videos and no one has ever asked me this before. Freezer Burns, how did I get the name Freezer Burns? Well, here's the thing. The concept came first. I said, frozen food review, this is what I want to do. And then I started like, th like this is what I do for, for my clients at the time where, you know, like I, I come up with taglines or I come up with, um, with logos or company names and stuff like that. Um, and I just kind of brainstormed in my head, okay, what are all the different things that are related to frozen? And I, and I thought, wouldn't it be interesting um, to, so I had like a whole list of different things. I, I got to dig up like all my notes of how I did that. But one of them was freezer burns, and I was really excited about freezer burns because it's kind of like it's freezer, like the like frozen food, but it's like burns, like I not like literally burning myself, but burn, like I I just like put that food down, like I like I like I defamed it, like like ooh burn, you know, like I I just like criticized it, right? And so I thought, you know what, that actually really really works. And here's but here was the kicker, because for me, um, it was really important that I got a uh, URL, a domain name that uh, worked, that wasn't something that was like super cheesy. Um, and fortunately, freezerburns.com was available and I grabbed it and said, yes, that's exactly it. And I've been freezerburns ever since. So that's it for this episode of Ask FFM. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep the questions coming. If you are of legal drinking age, try Bullet Bourbon, especially this 10 year Frontier Whiskey Bullet Bourbon. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. And, and, I, and just so you know, I drink bourbon neat. No ice. No ice. Always neat. Um, so hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks again for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying these uh, videos every day. I think I'm like, I'm almost at the midway point, guys, of the year. I'm like at 148 videos in a row. Hope you're enjoying this content. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit the subscribe button. If you haven't left me a voicemail, leave a voicemail, and I will see you tomorrow.